Okay, so today we're going to talk about one of our favorite subjects to talk about as RVers, the black tank. Now, that's probably not our favorite subject. That's probably one of our least favorite subjects to talk about and deal with. But it's very important that you know how to properly check the level in your black tank. And specifically, we're going to talk about sensors uh, and other ways to see when your black tank is full, such as the famous black tank burp. What is it? What does it look like? How do you find it? We're going to go over all that right now. Okay, as a full-time RVer, there's a couple of different ways that I keep track of the black tank level. It's pretty important to keep track of your black tank level because you don't want it to overflow and you don't want to have any accidents. That's not a good accident to get into. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways in a minute. One is by using the sensors. Eh. The other way is by using a calendar. But let's talk about what's actually happening in your black tank. So this little pipe is going to represent the tube that comes out in the black tank from your toilet. All right. This is going to represent your black tank level. So as you use your black tank, it fills up and it fills up and it fills up. The black tank has a vent that goes out of the top of your RV to allow gases to vent also. But this is the main vent the tube from your toilet and as the level fills up closer and closer and closer to the top you can see the airspace shrinks and shrinks and shrinks and when the level of the black tank gets almost all the way up to the the toilet tube when you flush it the air has to go someplace so it's going to come back up the tube and it's going to create it's going to create that black tank bubble at the top of the toilet and i'm going to show you what that black tank bubble looks like in a minute but let's talk about a couple of other things let's talk about how i use my calendar and how i use my sensors so let's go over and check those out okay so here's the console of my rv you're going to notice that i have a couple of things I have this little $10 clock that I got at Walmart that runs on a AA battery. And this is really nice because it, you know it doesn't move when I'm traveling and it tells me a lot of things. It tells me the time, it tells me the day and the date, it tells me the day, Friday, because you know I'm getting older, sometimes I don't remember what day it is. And it tells me the inside temperature, which is important so that I can judge what the temperature is versus what my air conditioner says. But what I really wanna show you is what's right next to it. And it is a calendar. This is extremely important because <laughs> I'm getting older. I can't remember what day it is so I can match what day it is. But you'll see on this calendar that I've got some things written. And you can see that there's a B and there's another B. And then there's another B there. Today is the 19th and there's another B. What I do is every time I empty my black tank I go to the calendar and I put a B on the day just in case my sensors don't work and I forget what day I emptied the black tank now you can wait for the burp and we're gonna go over that and I'm gonna show you how to find it in a few minutes but here is another easy way to keep track of when you empty your black tank and when you empty your other tanks as well mark it on a calendar invaluable to have a calendar marked so you never have to question when you emptied your tanks last so let's go around and look at my sensors okay here's our wonderful sensor control you can see we have battery level fresh water level black tank level gray tank one and gray tank two i have two gray tanks and one black tank black tank you know what the black tank is for uh, this gray tank is for the shower and that gray tank is for the galley as well as the bathroom sinks. So these are just as good as the idiot lights in your car. This, these sensors work. This RV is about five years old. These sensors work pretty good for about a year. Now they don't work anymore. Now I just emptied the tanks today and let's see what we got. Okay. Battery level. Our batteries all the way up. Yay. Fresh water. Okay. It's at one third. Well, that's correct because I, I usually keep about five or 10 gallons of water in the, the fresh water tank just for, you know, backup purposes. Now let's go to the black tank. I just emptied this. It's reading two thirds full. The sensors are junked up and the sensors aren't reading correctly. Now I've tried to clean these out with the uh, Calgon 
and the Dawn solutions. I haven't tried the ice cubes going down the road and sloshing it. And nothing's really worked. Some people try the, the Calgon and the Dawn solution and it works great. I tried it a couple times and it didn't work at all. So I just emptied it and it's reading two thirds full. Now the gray tank, that's the shower tank. My wife just got out of the shower, but it's open and it's reading a third full. And the, and the, the sink tank is reading two thirds full and I just emptied this. So you can't really count on these lights. You have to use some other methods. The calendar is a great way and looking for the black tank burp is another great way. So now I've shown you my calendar. I showed you my sensors. Now I'm going to take you down and show you what the dreaded black tank burp looks like. Okay, so here we are at the business end of what I'm talking about. If you've never heard of the black tank burp, here is what it looks like. What I'm going to do is, you know, we got a little bit of water in the toilet and when I flush it, you're going to see a big like bubble come up and that means your black tank is basically full and you're going to get a little smell because the black tank is full. So I'm going to flush this and we're going to show you this big bubble that comes up. Did you see that bubble? Put a little water in there and we'll do it one more time. You'll see the big bubble come up. That is the burp that you're looking for. That means your toilet is full. Okay, so here we go again. Yep, and you, and you can smell it too. Okay, that means it's time to dump the black tank. So that's what it looks like. That's what you're looking for if your sensors don't work. And that's an easy way to tell when it's time to dump your black tank. Okay, so I hope this helped you out a little bit. It's really, really important to monitor your black tank level because you don't really want any accidents. That's a bad accident to have happen. Now you know what the black tank burp looks like. I keep track of when I empty my black tank and my other tanks also on a calendar. If you want to try to clean your tank sensors, the black tank and the gray sensors, you can try a few of the methods that are out. You know, there's the Calgon and the Dawn method. There's, you know, you can try the ice cube method where you dump a few bags of ice cubes down the black tank and with a little bit of water and you let it all slosh around. It's supposed to clean it off. I've never had any success on getting them clean whatever method I use. I haven't tried the ice cubes, but the Calgon and Dawn, I've tried it a few times, didn't really work for me. So I just keep track of mine on a calendar and I watch for that black tank burp. And if you keep track like I do, you'll never have any problem and you'll never overflow that black tank. So once again, this is Matt from RV Travel TV and I will see you on the road.